Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm working in this embroidery digitizing program called Sew Art, which is a lovely program. Um, I'm not going to go over all of the details of uh, what I did today. Um, I took this image, which is something that um, I purchased as, um, I believe it came in as a JPEG file. Actually, we can look here. Yeah, the original file came in as a JPEG. And um, I believe Dream, Dreamtime is where I purchased it from is the website that I purchased it from. I previously used it as part of a logo that um, for a, a business that I used to own. Um, but um, I've just uh, cropped the horse out of um, uh, of that previous logo, which actually I'll just open that and show you what it looked like. And it, you can see it uh, automatically scales any image in SoArt that you open down to a particular size. Um, so this was my um, old logo um, that I used for my business. And so I cropped the horse out. You can see when I um, go in uh, closer some of this you can see there's gray and and black in the details. Let me shut the grid off here so you can see some of that better. There's some gray here and um, it's there's where the image kind of cleans up on the screen um, and I just really love this image and I've been wanting to embroider it out for a long time so um, I went ahead and I cropped the horse out and I went through um, the wizard tool and the posterize tool um, the color reduction tool and then the color merging and despeckling tool to kind of get this image uh, ready for uh, an embroidery file but um, one of the things I have not done yet and you'll see down here is that I have not yet changed the size of the image and um, when I originally did this because I've done this like five or six times now I changed the size of the image first but it really made the image um, look really pixelated and pretty terrible. And so I thought, well, let's go back in and let's do all of the um, color merging and dispeckling and, you know, trying to get the, the file ready. And then we'll go in here and we'll resize it. So I'm resizing it for my uh, brother's single needle embroidery machine and the largest hoop that I can use in there is a four by four inch hoop and so the largest I can digitize this at is 3.9 images um, which I believe is roughly um, like a hundred and two millimeters if we go into um, into the options you can change the units here from the imperial measurements to the metric measurements but for clarity's sake um, because I live in the US and we <laughs> use these horrible imperial measurements then that's what I'm going to go ahead and do so I'm going to go ahead and put this in at three point nine inches. I'm going to keep the uh, aspect ratio locked so it doesn't change my horse uh, dimensions. Um, I want it to look essentially the same. So you can see now when I go down here it's changed those dimensions but look at what happens when I zoom in. So there again, we've pixelated 
my horse and I don't like it and I know that it's going to be problematic to stitch that out. So for right now I'm just going to go back um, to where I previously had it before because I'm pretty okay with this design um, the way that it is. I just have to figure out how to get it, keep it looking like that. Um, uh, when I when I changed the size. So the other thing I wanted to do was make sure that um, these white patterns in the horse weren't actually part of the background because sometimes I've seen where um, you import an image file and the way that it was drawn by the artist um, if it's just like a clip art image or something like that um, can, uh, part of the design in here can get mixed up with what's out here and so a good way to, um, to test that is to um, change the color of this background so right now you can see everything's on white and what I want to do is I want to pick my dropper tool and then I want to go down here and I want to pick a color that's going to make it obviously different from the rest of the horse. Let's do some, let's just go in here and look at red. And then I'm going to drop this color into the background and watch what happens. Look at that. So. As I suspected, um, part of my design is actually part of the background, and um, but it isn't consistent. Like it's you know, you zoom in here, and you see it's kind of this part of the design is white still, but the rest of it somehow got confused with the background. So this is going to be really problematic for a stitch out um, because what it means is that it's going to first of all it's going to try and stitch out this entire background like um, a patch and I don't want that. I just want the horse and the design stitched out in two colors. So now how uh, this is my big question is how do I change this part of the design so that it's separate from the background part of the design and if I go in here and I pick my color dropper tool and I just pick white and I drop white into this part of the design see what happens <laughs> so <laughs> I'm so frustrated I don't know how to fix this and actually this might be a thing that I might not be able to fix but that's my question so um, all you lovely so art people if you know how I can f possibly fix this issue and also the issue of the pixelation when I try to resize it down to the 4x4 four four hoop size. Uh, I would really appreciate any answers to those questions. And if you've already made a video about that, maybe you can just um, provide me a link um, to your video or to another video where somebody has encountered this and was able to fix this problem. All right, so art people, thank you so much. Have a great day, and...